Yes, I have been cheating a bit, but I decided that after pulling the water pump, I might as well. Oh, and there it goes. Really nice video, huh? So, bottom hose is off. Almost no water came out. Sorry about the angle again, but look up there in the film stat. That is clearly where it's blocking, so now I'm just gonna lay down the phone and try to get it out and I expect the water to start flowing then. So I guess it's just really jammed up. So I got a little secret I'm gonna let you in on. I don't know if it's 10 years, 12 years ago, maybe a little less, but I bought what ended up being quite a big load of used and unused pairs from an old Volkswagen dealer. Sorry about that. I thought, yeah, I just bought it sight on scene. I think I paid 800 Danish, not a lot. But uh, I had a small Iveco flatbed at the time. And it was full when loading up all those boxes. The problem is it takes a lot of time to sort. Now it stands here and sometimes a box collapse and of course you can see it's, it's just those brittle flamingo. So, um, but it has paid itself off a long time ago. And now when I have the car, my Passat at home, it's a lot easier to see what the things are for. So I took a bit of a gamble looking for a thermostat. I just had to move this. A nice box full of old, what do you call them, belts. I don't know if they're any good anymore. They, of course, they get stiff, but uh, it's not anything that would look nice on the wall. Just here is the correct one for my car. I do seem to have a lot of other cars, so if they still work, I can use them. If not, there will be a wall hanger. It's not the most expensive part to buy new. So let's zoom back. Okay, I, I actually had to move two boxes, but I ha guess I had some luck here. Because there is some thermostats. They do appear to be used, maybe, but I can test them. What I want to do is to find an 80 degree, because I found out that the one in the car, although I changed it myself a lot of years ago, it's an 87 degree. So even if it worked, it would open a little l later. And I do think 80 is the, what it's designed to be. So but as you can see, not all is Volkswagen. It actually, I found out that the closed shop where all these parts were from also used to be a Austin Morris dealer. So I have actually also found parts from the 50s and 60s. And that's kind of nice because I also own some of these. But I bought the things because it said that it contained a lot of Passat parts. So yeah, we have full boxes with used carburetors. I even think I have a Aluminium head for a uh, Volkswagen LT and yeah, there's a lot of stuff, but uh, yeah, it just takes time. So don't ask me if I have that and that specific part because I have no idea, but uh, let's go test one of the thermostats. And looking over this, this is the one from the car. It looks really nice, but uh, I haven't tested it yet. But you can see it says 87. This is from the box, exactly the same. But I'm not sure if that means it's an 80. But 
then there's this one. Not sure it's even the right box. Doesn't really matter because this is okay on the box. And also appears to be the same. And this is definitely an 80. It looks really stiff and I don't know I think it has been at least lying for 40 years but um, I'm gonna test that one and I'm gonna compare it with the one that was in the car and maybe one of the others but um, that will be next There was actually a brand new one in the box, and I'm sure this one is the right box. But it says Audi Ford Opel Volkswagen. And it's definitely definitely the right type, and you can see this one is for sure unused, but that is an 87 as well. I guess that has just been the most common in stock and could be used for various cars. I guess that's why I got an 87 back in the day. But, uh, yeah. If I have the option, I'm going with the lower. Here goes nothing. Don't really know what to expect. But decided to film the start today. It's probably going to be shitty. But now I have tested both the thermostat that was in the car and the, the old one that I found, they both seem to be working, so, but still it should open a little bit before. And I know that it wasn't circulating, I, I didn't show that on the video, but the bottom hose clearly didn't get hot and that's a problem. So it still could be the water pump, but I hope that it was a combination that uh, it was clogged off and Maybe that was that is why it wasn't opening. Now I have rinsed it through, added some coolant floss that needs to go around for 15 minutes. So that will only happen if it doesn't get warm. But uh, let's give it a go. One tap at the throttle. So, I save you the waiting time. I think I only have one option left now, and that is the water pump. Maybe it has been my problem all along, but um, still got, it doesn't get hot on the bottom hose, and it starts boiling in the radiator, so it gets quite hot over here, and seems like it's not circulating, okay. It can be stopped, clocked up, but uh, the obvious reason right now, I think, is the water pump. So I'm going to order a new one, and that's going to take a little time. You could say, why did I bother playing around with those thermostats when a new one costs like 50 Danish crowns, which is, which is not a lot. Well, part stalled past stores sorry ain't really plentiful out here and why not use something that you already have it's a lot more educational and learning and environmental environmental friendly yeah i'm sorry i'm gonna go relax and watch tour de france now instead
Yes, I have been cheating a bit, but I decided that after pulling the water pump, I might as well. Oh, and there it goes. It's amazing how happy you can be to see your fan starting. The engine is running a bit uneven, but come on. Automatic show, maybe my timing, old fuel, lots of possibilities. But I took the water pump apart. I do think those are a bit more noisy. But, uh, yeah. but I took the water pump apart and uh, there was a lot of rod in it and now the needle just stays there that's kind of nice so that's one step further but the minute I started it up it didn't take long I could feel the water in the bottom hose and that didn't happen before so so a small success for now but uh, now I need to fix the brake so it can actually move I know I'm missing the the cover for the for the timing belt but um, that needs a, a leg of paint and I just wanted to uh, to make a test now the only thing I, I just need to take the fan belt off that's uh, not a big deal but uh, that will need some paint so will the air cleaner as well but uh, yeah enough waffle so far I call it a success I have waited five years for that to cool down 